This is K. Kartigayan, Assistant Professor, Department of CSE from Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology. This video, we are seeing about the frame relay concepts in the computer networks. Frame relay is a high performance wide area network protocol that operates at the physical and data link layer of the OSI reference model. It was developed by the Integrated Service Digital Network Interface. It has to be an processed with a packet switching technology. It will be having a two types variable length packet and then statistical multiplexing. Frame relay devices. Devices attached to the frame relay wide area network fall into the two types data terminal equipment and then data circuit terminating equipment DTE and then DCE. DTE example are a personal computer, routers, bridges. DCE example are packet switching and then routers. DC are a carrier owned internet working devices. The purpose of DC equipment is to provide a clocking and switching services over a network, which are the devices that actually transmit a data through the wide area networks. Frame relay devices. This is the architecture of frame relay devices. We have to communicate with the three DTE devices to our personal computer and another one is a server. Frame relay virtual circuit will provide a connection oriented data layer communication. It will be implemented using a frame relay virtual circuit by the logical connection created between the data terminal equipment devices across the packet switched network. <clears throat> virtual circuit provide a bidirectional communication path from the DT devices to another and are uniquely identified by the data link connection identifier. A number of virtual circuits can be multiplexed into a single physical circuit for transmission across the network. A virtual circuit can pass through any number of DC devices located within the frame relay packet switch network. It has to be in two types, switched virtual circuit and then permanent virtual circuit. Switched virtual circuit has been temporary storage which will be having a call setup, data transfer, ideal and then call termination. It will be having a few manufacturers has to develop the temporary switched virtual circuit and then permanent virtual circuit. Permanent virtual circuits are permanently established a connection that are used to frequent consistent data communication. It will be having a only two things data transfer and the ideal does not require the call setup and the termination state. Data link connection identifier it can be identified the frame relay virtual circuit. It will be assigned by the frame relay service providers. It having a local significance. This is example of POCI. Congestion control mechanism. It can be used to reduce the network overhead by implementing a simple congestion notification mechanism neither, uh, rather than the explicit or an per virtual circuit flow control mechanism. It will be having a two types forward explicit congestion control no notification, backward explicit congestion notification. Uh, the FECN and BECN controlled by the single bit contained by the frame relay frame header. The frame header contains a discard eligibility bit which is used to identify the less important traffic that can be dropped during period of congestion. It is informed receiving the DT devices that particular path has to be congested by using the it has to be a lower priority. It has to be identified by the discard eligibility. If it is having a frame to one, indicate that frame has to be a lower important rather than the other devices. So it will having the congested DC devices will discard the frames with the DE bit set. The local management interface is a set of enhancement to the basic frame relay specification. It has to be a local group. Uh, addressing extension with the DLCA. It has to be a 
virtual circuit status messages provide a communication synchronization between the frame relay and the DCE devices. It has to be an implemented by the frame relay and non-frame relay by the multiplexers. It has to be a non-frame relay implemented by the appropriate application or service with the private branch exchange using the telephone operations. This is a wide area network frame relay implementation process. Frame relay format, it has to be an, this is a format of uh, frame relay concepts. It has to be an 8-bit for a flag, 16-bit for an address, and then variable length for a data, 16-bit for an FCS, and then again 8-bit for an FCS flags. <coughs> The flag has to be measured with the bits 0, 7, 1, and then 0. It has an address having the DLCI extended as a uh, CR congestion control. This is a frame relay frame format. It has to be in two types forward explicit congestion notification and then backward explicit congestion notification. Discard eligibility is to measure the priority of the frame. That's all about the frame relay concepts. Thank you.